welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. So, I have a beer here, and there's a little background behind one of these breweries. Um, over the Christmas holiday, I went and reviewed a beer that was sent to me by um, Review Fools up in Edmonton. And they went and reviewed this beer as well, and I said, hey, I wouldn't mind trying this. Uh, it was for a radio station uh, up there, and I really do enjoy the radio station, so I thought, you know, let's get the beer a try. What was unknown to me at that point in time was that beer was about six months old. So, it's probably been around a few times, and is one of those beers that had the lower alcohol volume and everything else, and it really didn't taste that good. It was okay. It was average. It went down quickly. It was a beer, um, but it wasn't spectacular. Now, that being said, I went and posted it on my Facebook page, and I tagged one of the breweries that's in here, Two Sergeants. I'm basically, if anyone's been following my Facebook page, they've seen that what's happened. And two sergeants came back with a comment that pretty much didn't sit well with a lot of people, including me. And it, things were said about, about the comment, and then apologies were made by two sergeants because they were having a bad day, and I gave the beer a bad review without really going into it. I kind of felt bad, but I was kind of mad at the same time. So... Pretty much from there, we basically accepted each other's apologies and uh, we went on our separate ways. Um, I will be probably touring their brewery at some point in time. That being said, this beer here is the most appropriate name all around. It's actually a collaboration between Two Sergeants Brewery and Far Brewery. And it's a seasonal fest, fest beer. And it's collaboration brew coming at 5.5% alcohol by volume. Now, the interesting part about it is Far is a German brewery out of Calgary. Two Sergeants likes to, uh, they've got the British Bulldog on there, so they, they like to, you know, German and British. One of those things. Now, do not be fooled by the name. It says Christmas Truce 1914. This came out actually early last week or early this week, depending on how you look at it. And it is actually a fresh beer. It's not a Christmas beer. It's past the Christmas season and it is just out. So honestly, if you find it, We'll see if you want to buy it or not. I'm not going to say buy it yet. So, that being said, let's have a quick look at the description. Roughly 100,000 British and German troops were involved in the unofficial cessations of hostility along the Western Front. The first truce started on Christmas Eve 1914, when German troops decorated the area around their trenches in the region of Ypres, Belgium. The Germans placed candles on their trenches and on Christmas trees, then continued the celebration by singing Christmas carols. The British responded by singing carols of their own. The two sides continued by shouting Christmas greetings to each other. Soon thereafter, there was no excursions across no man's land, where small gifts were exchanged, such as food, tobacco, and alcohol, and souvenirs such as buttons and hats. The artillery in the region fell silent. The truce also allowed a breathing spell where recently killed soldiers could be brought back behind their lines by burial parties. Joint services were held in many sectors, and the truce lasted through Christmas night, continuing until New Year's Day. You know... That right there is awesome. It really is. That's a part of history I actually did not know. That they actually had a truce going on in 1914. That's pretty sweet. I really do like that. So, let's get this opened up and see how it is, shall we? 
and my neighbor's deciding to do some work on the house. All right. So I've had some beers from both breweries. One's been okay, one's been outstanding. But at the same point in time, I don't get a lot of two sergeants down here. So seeing this was actually really awesome. So the look of it is a hazy, dark copper color. Very little head on it. And it actually doesn't look that bad. It actually looks kind of appetizing. So the smell. Hmm. You get sort of like a, a fruity note with a little bit of a spice to it. It's not bad. I actually like the smell of that. That actually smells really good. So, cheers folks. Ah. You get some spices in there. You get a malty back note on there. Not a lot of hops. Small orange taste on it. And then goes into a, a little bit of a bitter taste on the end. Hmm. It's a different style of beer. That being said though, that's absolutely delicious. The back end does get a little bitter. So there might be some subtle hops in there but it's not like a hoppy beer. It's more malt. Um, it's more like a, a, a slight fruity taste in the beginning and then it goes into a bitter back note. I, it's, it's almost like an ESB. This is what I, I, I would kind of class as an ESB, but it's not a seasonal fest beer. Beer. Um, style of beer that I probably haven't had before. I may have actually in December, but I can't remember. But honestly, that's, that's, that's really good. That's very delightful. I can see why it's a seasonal and this I can see having pretty much before Christmas dinner in a way. It's an interesting combo. I do like it. I do like it a lot. That's, that's quite good. Uh, it's it's quite delightful. It's easy drinking. It's very crushable. And at five point five percent, you don't get the alcohol burn. There is no burn. There is no alcohol flavoring to it. It's quite good. Like I I really do enjoy that. It's a good combo by the two. Coming together with two different styles, but bringing it together in one one beer. Very well done. Like this is, this gets a four out of five for me. It's it's a good seasonal beer. Like this is actually quite delicious. Uh, it's it, it can be classed as a little mild, but at the same point in time, it's not. Uh, and some of the other beers I've had were milder than this. This one's actually very well rounded out, and it's something I could probably drink constantly and really enjoy. The carbonation seems light on it, but it's not. It's actually a good medium carbonation. I'd have that a couple more times. Oh, maybe more than a couple more times. Yeah, if you guys find this, it is only a week old. It is something that I would actually recommend getting. Do not think of it as a Christmas beer that has been out since before Christmas because it hasn't. Think of it as basically a story behind German and British which is actually rather cool. Very well done. Like, I love the play on words. I love everything else. And um, yeah, two sergeants. You and I do have a truce as well. And I think, um, I think we're okay. I think we're okay, really. And Far, you and I, I can't wait to try more of your stuff. Seriously, man, I need to try more of your stuff. Bring more out. Two sergeants, bring more stuff down. If you do, I would love to try more. Yeah, guys, this is actually a, a, a fun one to drink. I like it. So for now, folks, I'm PK saying cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. 
Now the Christmas season is over, let me get on to my big strong beers. Have a good night.